Thank you for coming. So I'm going to talk about the technique to implement selected code, generate selected code technique and in my caching formulation on top of our files with that modifying the compiler drastically. Okay, so let's go to talk about the background. So this project is uh, based on our files. Our Python is a language with the framework to develop a high performance virtual machine. So, because it can generate a VM with tracing digital compiler from an interpreter definition. So, this framework is used for generating several VMs, such as PyPy, PyCat, and so forth. Yeah. And we also uh, are interested in the uh, virtual compilation. So modern virtual machines such as Hotspot, V8, and so forth uh, need to run a variety of programs, ranging not only short-lived programs like batch processing scripts, but also uh, long-lived server-side these applications. To improve overall performance, modern virtual machines employ a multiple compilation. Uh, but yeah, multiple compilation is also supported in uh and so forth, and because the uh, multiple compilation can balance code quality and compilation time by shifting between compilation levels. So, for example, uh, in multiple compilation, uh, long, long level programs are applied to the JIT compiler so, because it can generate quality code that consuming compilation time due to having expensive uh, optimizations. So on the other hand, short review programs are applied to a lightweight chip compiler because it can generate code quickly without having expensive op optimization. So our Python should also support much level compilation, but currently does not. So currently our Python only and uh, generates an interpreter and tracing chip. So our Python is not yet competitive with language specific virtual machines. Uh, so to improve overall, overall performance of our Python, we think supporting uh, much of a compilation by adding lightweight compilation to our Python uh, is needed. But we have a dilemma. It is how to extend generated VMs from our Python. So here, uh, this figure shows a simplified VM component. And the VM has the interpreter, okay, the interpreter, and so it has the just, just in time compiler, including the target sector and IR optimizer and translator. So when the source code is uh, loaded on this VM, the source code is compiled into bytecode, and it firstly is interpreted on the interpreter. And when hotspot is detected, the bytecode is uh, picked by target sector and converted to IR. And this is optimized many times, and will finally translated to the machine code by translator. So in managed language runtimes, uh, every component can be. Uh, manage so for example so it is easy to uh, realize material completion by adding another just in time compiler and unmodified target sector but uh, in our Python uh, only an interpreter and bytecode compiler can be managed other components such as target sector IR optimizer and translator in the JIT compiler, which is provided by R, uh, is fixed. Uh, so, how to realize com material compression in this situation? In particular, uh, how to add lightweight compression to our Python with slower effort. To overcome the dilemma, we propose a hint, hint instruction based approach. Uh, the hint instruction is a pseudo function. Uh, which is inserted into an interpreter and it can influence the behavior of meta tracing compilation. 
And as you could know, our Python has already implemented several hint instructions, such as Elias, promote, don't loop inside, and so forth. In this approach, uh, we control the behavior of metrician compression to achieve a new compression behavior by using hint instructions. In our previous work, we realized that the coordination on top of our files by inserting hint instructions uh, into an interpreter. Uh, in this work, uh, we, real, we extend the previous work and realize multiple compression by using hint instructions. And uh, we improve the performance of stated coordination by uh, create by implementing inline caching. Okay, next uh, we show system overview of multi R Python and which supports multi compression in R Python. Here, uh, this is interpreter. Uh, this interpreter is written by the user and hint instructions are inserted. Then the multi R Python takes a virtual stream from the written interpreter. Not that uh, two interpreters are generated. The, the one is for stated coordination, which is lightweight completion for much level R Python, and the other is interpreter, which is used for tracing the compression. Okay, so when the source code program is loaded to the VM, the program is first and interpreted on interpreter for selected code generation. After profiling one time data, the metrician compiler applies lightweight completion, uh, which is state code generation, and to the program and generates a native code. When the tracing jit set of spot spot is found during interpretation, on certain code interpreter, the execution is switched to the percentage interpreter. Okay, then after profiling runtime data, the percentage compiler applies percentage compression and to the program and generate native code. Also, native codes from different compilations can be go back and forth by global jam. Here, we show how we change the computation level in multiple files. There are one special interpreter, which is called interpret shifter, and it others an interpreter for selected code generation, and this one is for tracing and compilation. And the interpreter shifter decides the rule of the transition of the computation level. In this example, First, the interpreter shifter first, uh, first starts the execution from the interpreter for stated code generation. In this interpreter, the hint instruction that the driver uh, provides execution. And then uh, the counts exceed the threshold and it starts lightweight compression. And in this interpreter, you can write the rule to uh, shift to go to the interpreter for tracing the compilation. So the rule is written by here. So when um, this part uh, counts, uh, counts how many times the package uh, occurs. And when it exceeds threshold, this threshold, this threshold can be defined by the user. Um, it's the threshold. Uh, the exception continue interesting is happened. And firstly, go back to this interpreter shifter. And then uh, the gear shifts to the level to interpret the fluctuation to compression. And then the profile also profiles start again. And, and then and then the, the accounts exceed threshold. 
it also has to compile program. And you can also write the label down rule, right? Like this code. If the count uh, it does not do not exceed the threshold, uh, you can like, go down to the uh, lower level by using continue in stress. This is the uh, transition rule, which is uh, red line, red to line. Okay. Okay. Next, we would like to explain the technique to realize in my caching by using infrastructures. Uh, before going to the explanation, we briefly uh, look at the technique for lightweight compression in our class. This technique generates threaded code by using infrastructure inserted in the interpreter. The advantage is that its compiler code is small. Here, very small. And compression time is short. However, uh, we have a problem. The method code was slow in the code generation. In next slides, we would like to explain the reason and our solution. The reason is that every time we the method code goes through the system uh, system lookup routine and calling the compiled threads. Here we assume that the method and it's already compiled. And in this trace, it's going to call this function F, method F. This is a handler for, uh, this is a, a interpreter definition in, in, in the introduction of call. When this instruction is compiled, uh, this trace is generated. Uh, but so this uh, handler, this uh, trace uh, always uh, goes through this interpreter hardware and always go into this uh, method lookup looking. And so through this slow pass, it finally calls this uh, method F. So this is the reason why the method call is slow. So to solve this problem, we implement inline caching in selected code generation by using into instructions. Uh, if the method call is already compiled, the slow call is converted into this direct call. So even if uh, the compiled code F is, is not belong to the class A, the function for this first pass and for Falls back to this slow pass. Okay. By using this technique, we can improve the performance of function call. Okay, next. In next slides, I'm going to show how we implement this technique by using hint instructions. Okay, so the technique is very simple. We hang the interpreter definition. First, in the definition, of handler call, we record the runtime type of a method during interpretation. Okay. In the body of interpreter, we first verify the runtime type of the method by using check type. And if this the verification is succeeded, uh, we call call assembler instruction and uh, not uh, by using call, call assembler instruction, not handler call. If this take check type is false, we call this handler call and the normal handler call instruction. Okay, so by writing those code, this, this, check, this part is compiled into this first pass and this code is compiled into slow pass. This is a technique for set for inline caching in circuit code generation. Okay, we next we briefly show the implementation overview. Uh, we implement this technique on Python. Uh, Python is a subset of small talk implementation by using our Python. Uh, to realize to realize circuit code generation and inline caching. We uh, 
we especially care about 10 out of 72 instructions uh, instrument, 10 to instruction. So the total random contents are here. Okay, next we are going to show the evaluation and experiment. So we did two kinds of uh, evaluation. The first one is micro benchmark evaluation. And the next step, next one is monitor experiment in a simulated error workflow. And in micro benchmark evaluation, we evaluate the cost and benefits of two teams. Uh, okay. In multiple experiment, we evaluate the performance of multiple computation uh, through a simulated year world application to validate the multiple, multiple completion in our method is really beneficial. Yeah. Okay, next we show the uh, overview of micro benchmark evaluation. Uh, okay, so we evaluated, evaluated the cost and benefit of two chips, the full generation and tracing chips. The cost is completion time, uh, and the benefit is peak performance at steady state. So we use the Python origin and uh, we passed it micro benchmark for every age. And this is the result. Uh, this video shows the correlation between completion time and white full size and y axis and the completion time and x axis is the white full size. The red and blue line mean tracing JIT and inserted for generation respectively. So in certain code, completion time is proportional to propor proportional to bytecode size. On the other hand, tracing is unstable. On this result, certain can certain code can be used as lightweight compression uh, because it is easy to predict the performance in a small program. Okay, next, we show the result of peak performance at steady stage. So, note that the y axis is a lapse of time standardized to the interpreter. The blue, orange, and red bars are selected codes with inner caching, and selected code with the inner caching and tracing. Team. Overall, so the selected code is for part, uh, this work is standardized to the interpreter execution. The overall selected code is 4% faster than the interpreter, but 94% slower than the uh, In particular, uh, in the caching, uh, improved the selected code approximately 20%. Okay, so next we are going to show the result of material experiment. Uh, before showing the result of, the result of this, we explain the objective and methodology of the experiment. The objective is to, be, to evaluate the benefits of adding certain coordination to our Python for material configuration. We wanted to evaluate by using the real world applications, but it is currently difficult because we can't access enterprise applications and Python implementation has uh, about uh, 20, uh, 200 instructions missing as small talk virtual machine. So we decided to simulate the application that has a real, real world workflow by combining macro benchmark programs. The targets are Richards, JSON, Horizon Detector, and DataBlue. Okay, here this figure shows the number of mission implications in the simulated real world application. Uh, similar to a real world workload, this application has a long tailed distribution of the method implications. The threshold for material completion was determined by uh, the following heuristics. About 30% of the methods are compiled by certain code, and 20% are compiled by tracing tool. This heuristics is based on the result of data benchmark. Okay, so this is the result of material jet experiment. The green, red, orange, and blue bars, blue bars are uh, much level and tracing it only and tracing it with same with uh, threshold same to material completion and the last one is set code. Overall, 
logic is fastest. Uh, it is about 14 percent faster than tracing it only. And much of it is also faster than tracing it with the special same to uh, same to much of. From this result, we can say that uh, tuning the set short is not enough in our Python. And there are advantages to implement much of compression, uh, which introduces a new lightweight compression. Okay, so time is limited. We skip this uh, future work. And we con I con want to conclude this presentation by uh, showing this slide. Okay. Uh, 